I'll never forget the Good Friday in the year 1999. I was stationed at St. John the Evangelist in Wellesley. And at this time, the church was still closed. We were renovating it. We were expanding it. And so we had the Triduum services in the school hall. And I'll never forget this particular Good Friday because of what happened. When it came time to venerate the cross, my uncle who was going to Mass there with me, my Uncle Tony, I've talked to him about him before, he had cerebral palsy. And by this point, my uncle, it was, it was hard for him to walk. He, he used a cane and he was somewhat bent over a lot. And when he walked, he had to walk very slowly. I was the presider at the celebration and I watched my uncle get up to go over to venerate the cross. And all I could say is it brought tears to my eyes because you could see the struggle he had in walking as far as he had to, but he was determined to get to the cross. And when he got there, he grabbed onto the cross with all that he had and kissed it. It took all of his strength to hold on to it. And then he just shuffled back to his chair. For all of the problems my uncle had in his life because of his cerebral palsy, there was one thing that defined how he lived his life. And it truly was his faith in Christ. My uncle had a deep and abiding trust in the Lord. And I'm not saying he was a saint or a perfect person because he wasn't. He, quite frankly, could be a pain at times. But all he ever wanted was to be close to Christ. That is really what defined his life. And I saw it so clearly that day. And it moved me so powerfully. And it was such a deep reminder to me of the power of the cross. And not simply what the cross represents, but ultimately what the cross accomplished. For all the troubles my uncle had, he was a man of really, really strong desires to be independent, to be able to do for himself in whatever ways he could. But even with all of that, there were a few things he knew he needed in his life more than anything else. And most powerfully was to have Christ there. As he embraced the cross that day, it really was a sign of his faith, of his determination, of his desire for the Lord. No matter how much it cost him to walk the way to the cross, there was nothing on this earth that was going to stop him from getting there. How easy it is for us to sort of get caught up in our own lives and to lose sight to what really matters. To lose sight of what it is 
and Christ accomplished for us on that day some 2,000 years ago. Jesus didn't have to die on the cross. He made that very clear. Jesus chose to die for you personally. He chose to take your sins on him personally. Jesus chose to love you and loves you unconditionally. And that is ultimately what the cross reminds us of. God's unconditional love. A love that will allow him to lay down his son's life for you. And I think and I know that is something my uncle understood and it's what he tried to live out. As he embraced that cross that day, as he hugged it with all he had. He was simply trying to return the love that God gave to him back. May we use this Triduum, may we use this Good Friday to remember just how deeply God loves us. And may we desire to return that love to our God. May we desire to return it as unconditionally as he gave it to us on that day 2,000 years ago. When he accepted the cross, was nailed to it, and died for us. God bless.